Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to the Bristol Prepper channel. So today guys, we're doing a first look and a first impression of the Tramantina Machete. Um, this one retails for around the £15 mark, um, obviously fluctuate, of give it a, give 5 or £10 up or down. But around about that sort of mark, that's what I bought it for, um, off hennyhanes.com or .co.uk, uh, which is an English site that sells uh, knives and that. And if you're an English person and you're looking for knives and machetes and all that sort of thing, Go on there, check them out. They're a really good retailer. Uh, yeah, so this one is um, quite a basic machete. It doesn't come with no sheath or nothing. This is kind of what you see is what you get. Um, but these hold a lot of weight, guys, in the bushcraft and the uh, survival community. Um, these are extraordinary bits of kit. Really simple and uh, simplistic design, but um, it's just really effective. With a, um, I think, a combination of the perfect um, thickness on the spine. Obviously, this is for machete uses. What a machete is made for, you know, clear and brush, you know, um, and light chopping. Um, and I think this is. I haven't used it yet, but it seems to be a really good, um, really good combination on thickness and obviously the blade length. It does come with a variation of blade lengths. I think this is the 18 uh, inch one. I will double check for you. Two seconds. Uh, I think they do a 12 inch as well. Um, a slightly smaller blade. Yeah, this is the 18, 18 inch blade length, obviously plus the handle. Um, it comes with this uh, polymer handle. This is what the version I bought with the polymer handle. And polymer is pretty much just uh, a good plastic, you know. Um, I chose the, the polymer handle over the wood handle because of the conditions I live in. I live in... Um, obviously the UK and it rings a lot you know so I wanted to handle that wouldn't swell up like the wood will and um, I wouldn't have to replace it every now and again obviously plastic it wouldn't soak up any moisture or any water it will just um, obviously keep going you know I wouldn't have to maintain it or nothing and that's really what I wanted um, yeah th this blade uh, doesn't come sharp uh, what well, doesn't relative you know you couldn't shave hair with it but if you had to you could do some work with it um, it's sharp in the middle section um, but coming towards the end, it is a little bit more blunt, and we I will have to work on that. But that's not a problem, guys. I don't buy knives to be sharp at a box. I'd rather put my own uh, edge on it anyway, you know, get dang dirty with it, and uh, take it to a stone and put my own edge on it. But yeah, it's really nice, guys. You've got this nice up sweep here, um, and this really nice belly here, which gives you a nice uh, chopping area for when you're going to chop. Um, and I've also got on here, this is a non bladed portion. So all this here is just blank steel. There's no blade here, and the blade actually starts here, which is, um, I think, quite a good, quite a good idea. I, I quite like it. It gives you the ability for when you're obviously you're using it normally, and then you can obviously choke up to when you want to choke up to the blade and maybe just do some fine tasks. But yeah, I do quite like that. Um, I have never used a machete or any knife with a, a such a big blank there, but um, I think it could be a good idea, you know, for choking up and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I do, I do quite like it. This handle does have a loophole here, which is for, I'm guessing, for a lanyard, but my hands are so big that my hand covers the hole, so I'll put a lanyard on there and see how it goes. Um, it also has this little a hook piece at the end, not a hook, more of a little knobbly piece at the end. This is uh, helps your hand stay in place when you're chopping and obviously using the machete. Um, yeah, guys, like I said, they got a really good reputation online. Everybody seems to love them for their uh, amazing value for money and obviously the, the actual use of it. You know, they last a long time. They're kind of bulletproof from what I can gather online. So I thought I'd get myself one for only £15. Really cheap. There is different types of ones, but this was claiming to be like the original proper Tramantino machete. There was a cheaper one online for £10 and that come with a sheath. But I went with a more expensive one, which is this one for £15 with no sheath. Um, so I'm going to crack on and try and find a sheath. If anybody knows anywhere where I can get an 18 inch Tramantino machete sheath, please give me a shout. Leave a, give me, send me a message or leave a comment down beneath, tell me where you think I can get one from. Obviously I want it to be relatively cheap sheath, you know, because the, the machete is cheap. So I want to get a relatively cheap machete, uh, cheap sheath for it. But yeah guys, first impressions, I really like it. It's got a really nice bit of weight to it. It's not too heavy, so I can imagine doing a lot of work with this and having, uh, ease of use you know I can use it for a long period of time I can imagine without getting fatigue um, the grip is really nice it fits in the hand nice it's a little bit on the slimmer side so you guys with smaller hands will um, fit around here great on the smaller side if it was me I'd like it to be maybe a tad little bit uh, bigger in the palm swell maybe 
Um, but otherwise, it's, it's nice, you know, it's a grip to grip. It's got this kind of uh, scaly, kind of, what do I call it, like a reptile skin scales on the actual uh, handle. And uh, that just gives it really nice grip, really nice grip. But I can imagine, even if even when wet, I can imagine this being amazing, uh, yeah, amazing to hold in the hand and not, you won't lose grip on it, um, which is amazing. That's what you want, you know, you don't want to be chucking it and letting it letting go and uh, anything bad happening. But no, it seems nice. Um, obviously, the Tang runs a full length of blade, and we know that because of these pinned holes here. See these pinned? These pins on here that are holding the handle scales in. Obviously, this is uh, the Tang all the way up to the end. Which is nice, that's what you want. Obviously, it gives you that extra strength and uh, that peace of mind. The only downfall, like I said, is uh, that the edge isn't sharpened all the way up. You know, here it's completely blank. <laughs> What's Bear doing? I'm not sure what he's doing. He's hunting for something. Bear! Bear! Go on, Sally! Don't look at that. He doesn't understand yet, guys. He doesn't know he's on Sally. Bear! Look! Gotta say hello. What do you think? He's one of your co-star guys. What are you doing? Quick update, he's getting on really well, aren't you, Bear? Getting on really well. He loves it. Yeah, guys, so it's, um, it seems to be a real nice piece of kit. Um, I just really need to get a sheath for it and uh, take this to the stone and give it a nice edge. But otherwise, it seems really good. I'm really happy with it. Um, I might get the wood version as well just to see how, what, the other, what the wood handle version is like. Um, but the handle is on the smaller side, you know, you've got no way you're going to get another hand on there or anything like that. Um, <laughs> there's no way you can get another hand on there. Um, I've got quite big hands, so I can't imagine anybody else having trouble getting your hand on there. But, um, like I said, it's a smallish short handle, you know, it's nowhere near as big as, uh, say, the um, Condor. Bushcraft Parang, that's quite a nice size handle. This is quite a lot smaller than that, but not a problem. Uh, so far, anyway, obviously, I haven't used it yet, but I will give you guys a full in depth uh, field review on it once I get out in the woods and uh, obviously give it a test. Um, I am, to be fair, I'm holding, hiding this and holding this in high expectations, you know, because how much, how good and how high people rate it, you know, people say it's an amazing piece of kit. So hopefully, it gets on well. Um, yeah, guys, so. I enjoyed uh, showing you to you today. Hopefully, you enjoyed following me and uh, enjoy <laughs> joining me and Bear. Look, is he watching Telly yet or not? You watching? He just stares at me with that weird Labrador stare. If you've got Labradors, you know. This weird kind of. I'm trying to show you guys. This weird Labrador stare. That he's not sure about like anything he should be doing. <laughs> yeah, guys, so uh, hopefully, you enjoyed joining us today. Uh, we've enjoyed showing you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the other videos. Obviously, I've got all these woodland videos going up recently. Hopefully, uh, you're enjoying those. I definitely enjoy making them. They're amazing. Uh, yeah, guys, that's what I've got time for tonight. So, uh, hopefully, you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you've got anything to what you want to say, drop all your stuff down beneath in the comments. If you've got five minutes spare and you want to spare them with me, please go on down in the description and check out my link for Facebook. And that's got all pictures on there. More pictures of Bear on there. It's got all the pictures of everything. Um, just go check that out, guys, if you've got five minutes. Um, and also like, share and comment to this video guys, please, 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 it helps the channel massively. But like I said, that's all I've got time for, so as always, stay prepared and I'll catch you guys another day, another way.